I don't usually trade pre-market, especially shorts, but I saw an opportunity on IMT. It was a top percent gainer. And even though it's a low float, which is kind of risky, I was going to do 200 shares. I said, no, nah, let me do 100 shares. I saw a little bit of volume resistance. It looks like it just gaps and crashes, especially here too. Um, it's got some kind of SEC thing I don't know about. So I said, you know what? Let me just take some profits off in here. And I was watching it right over. I was watching it right over here, trying to figure out what my risk level should be. And I was like, okay, I like the risk of 778. Um, I noticed this candle. I was like, okay, these candles are higher than this one. So is this a good risk level? And right now it was around, it was like about 40 cents away. I didn't feel exactly comfortable. And then boom, confirming my idea. I said, all right, you know what? If it cracks this level, I'm getting in with my new risk being 708 after this 707 level. And I got in at 695, took the train down to 645, making about $50. So that's the way I like to start my morning. And if we can get back to the 787 level, which it looks like the turn and volume might be coming in now, scary as fuck, um, I may take another stab at this. But a low float, ah, very fucking scary. So, yeah. It looks like it just uh, was trying to get back to this level, 707. Um, there should be a VWAP reclaim because it's hitting this like 595 area almost so that's what i'm looking for now i'm just looking around for some shorts some short ideas so wall street bets was talking about silver and i noticed this mineral ones is gapping um what else i ended up selling my amc position from 13 where was I? I've been in for a couple of days. I mean, on Friday, actually. I think I got in Friday from 13, 13.94. I sold at um, 15.46. I don't trust AMC. I don't trust GME. I wanted to short it right here. I just ugh, don't want to touch them no more i gotta stick with what i know um and that's it i hope you have a good day bye